So a work set is equivalent to AutoCAD layers, where you know you can draw lines in certain layers and then you can turn them on and off in different views. So a work set behaves the same way. You always want to use work sets because it allows you to fine tune your visibility items. So you can have certain items show up in one drawing but yet be hidden in another one. So how you get to that is here under this button called work sets right in the middle bottom of the screen. And when you click on that, you'll have your list of available work sets and you might just have work set one. That might be your default starting. So to make a new work set, you simply click new, then type in the name of your work set. Let's say, I don't know, Fern Furniture or something. And you can adjust if you want it visible in all views or not show up in every view. My main thing is that if it is required to be seen by everyone, then yes, turn on visible in all view. But if it's not like data or receptacle, that, that doesn't have to be an on, on in every view, I would not turn on visible in all views. Then when you go to a sheet, you can only turn on the few things that you want as opposed to turning off like 80% of your work sets. Uh, some people set it up weird and it wastes so much time. So I'm gonna leave it on, hit okay. Then once you're done, just press okay, then you can default that to your new work set if you want to. I don't need to right now. The reason I use work set is like, there are certain families that are categorized under the same umbrella and I can't just turn off electrical fixtures. Um, so here's an example. I don't wanna show the panels here and if I were to just go into visibility graphic settings and go to um, electrical equipment, if I turn that off, you'll see that it takes the TV with it. For some reason, the TV is under electrical equipment. So I'm gonna undo that. And I'm, instead, I'm just going to put the TV on, um, let's say, furniture, hit apply. And this uh, panel is staying on the equipment work set. Yep, so there's equipment. This is the other equipment. And sure, we'll leave that. Then under your visibility settings, you can go to work set on the far right. Over here, we have power showing, furniture showing, and then equipment, we can have it um, be hidden. So now when I hit OK, it actually takes the panels away, but it took my ceiling fan away. <laughs> so I guess my ceiling fan wasn't on the right level. So ceiling fan, we're gonna switch that to, we'll call it furniture. So I hit apply. Now if I turn off the work set for equipment, hide, okay, and there you go. Now the panels are hidden, but everything else stays. So this will kind of help you if some of your families are set up a little strange and it's not like all lumped together. The biggest issue where I had where, where an architect would make all the equipment specialty equipment and literally every piece of equipment would be called specialty equipment regardless if it's like an autoclave or a cart. So like we would have a push cart be called specialty equipment and it would get hidden when I turn like the machinery off for some reason. And sometimes you want it separately. So it's great that the work set allows you to fine tune your visibility settings so you can show what you want to. The only downside is that there are a lot of people that don't pay attention to what work set they put it on. And you'll have like your doors on an egress work set and then you go to turn off the egress pathing and all your doors just disappear. Then you have to go back to the you know whatever discipline that drew it and tell them to hey fix your work sets because they're not set up right an advantage of using a work set is that you can also permanently close the work set from another discipline so if you were to go into revit links hit manage um oh terrible example hold on all right so i'm gonna have to blur a few things but if i were to right click on revit links right here then you can see that there's a whole bunch of them that show up here, I can click on, say, um, a mechanical link, and I can manage their work set from here. So what this lets me do is that I can turn off their shared levels and grids or their work set one. From here, I can close the work set on the entire project. So when I link their project in, I can turn off all the shared levels and grids on all of my views. And that'll be helpful because I really don't want to see mechanicals grid. I want to see architects grid. So I simply go in here, click click the work set I want to close and oh actually it's already closed <laughs> so I have I have done this and usually you'll just click close and it'll shut off the work set on your whole project um, if I need to edit it or see it later I can hit open again so work sets are very important make sure you use them 
put them in the correct work set, put the lighting on the lighting, put the power stuff on the power stuff. Otherwise you'll be getting the feedback saying, Hey, you are a very messy drafter and you need to fix it. So using work sets is important. Otherwise you'll have very messy drawings. And when you try to open a new view, all of that stuff is going to be showing up and you'll have to take the time out of your day to fix the view by turning off like 90% of what you don't want to see. So when you draft, make sure you put it on the right work set and in your visibility settings, turn on and off the relevant work sets. You can even say, do not, turn on so that other disciplines can understand that items in this work set are not meant to be seen by anyone else. So make sure you use them. Uh, it'll help everyone else out and save a bunch of time on the project. If you have any other questions about work sets, leave them below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.